Hello and welcome back to part 8 of my Python and Kiva tutorial for writing an iOS application. In this part we're going to be making the avatar screen, the change avatar screen. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create a new KB file for the screen like I've done with both the settings screen and the home screen here. So I will make a new file. I'll call it the change avatar screen .kb. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just copy paste the first part from one of my other screens because I want to keep this canvas right here. That's my nice blue color. So I'll get that in there. I need to change the name of this class to change avatar screen. And now I have to, I have to sort of get a base for this class over in my Python file. <coughs> so maybe here I'll say class change avatar screen, just copy paste of that. I just inherit from screen and I can pass. Okay, so change avatar screen. What I want this to look like is a scroll, a scroll view um, with all the avatars and then when you click one of the images for the avatars, it should change the one that, uh, let's see, it should change this one here and it should also go to the database back here and update this field. Okay, so in this video we're going to be demonstrating how to put data inside Firebase as well. So let's get that scroll view going. Change avatar screen. So this scroll view is going to be just like the one that I did for the workout banner back in video 5 I believe. So I need a scroll view and then inside my scroll view I need a grid layout. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to have three columns so there will be three images per row. Uh, and then we're going to need an ID because I'll populate this as soon as my um, as soon as my GUI starts up. So I'll give an ID of uh, avatar grid. Then over in main.py, I'll use this ID to populate it in just a second. Uh, okay, so size hint y none. So I need these four four parameters uh, inside the grid layout that relate to, to making things work in the scroll view. I covered that a little bit more in depth in video five. Uh, okay, size and y is none. Height is self.minimum height. <coughs> and then row default height, I have 100 BP. And then row force default will be true, okay? I think that's going to be about it for the screen. So what I need to do now is go to main.py and on start, I'm going to want to populate that grid. So let's do that. Populate avatar grid. Okay, avatar grid is self.root.ids. Uh, oops, it's going to be in the change avatar screen. So change avatars screen. And I need the IDs there, and I'll get the avatar grid. And right now, so self.root is the main.kv file. It doesn't know what this is yet, so let's go to main.kv and put it in my change avatar screen. So first thing I need to do is import it include kv slash change oops it's lowercase change avatar screen so I'm including this one that I just made so I'll go down to my screen manager and add him so change avatar screen and then that's uppercase because that's this now that that's referring to name <coughs> I'll use lowercase and separated, change avatar screen, ID, same thing. Okay, now I have this ID that I can reference back in main.py. Okay, now I'm going to use, um, since I've been really, I thought ahead a little bit, I put all my avatars inside this one uh, folder here. I'm going to use the os.walk function which will walk through 
all of the files inside this folder and return them for me. So I'm going to go ahead and import, or from OS, I'll import lock. And now back here, the way you use lock is for and then the root directory and then uh, folders and then files in the lock function. And I have to pass it the folder that I want to lock. So icon slash avatars. So what this does, what this lock function does is it returns the root directory. So that's this guy here. And then all the folders that are inside this one and all the files that are inside this one. And it's recursive, but I don't have any other folders uh, inside this icons avatars folder. So there won't be any recursion really going on here. Okay, now I say for F and files, this will be each one of my images. So F will be this guy and then that guy. Okay, so I'm gonna want to add all my widgets. So avatar grid add widget. And what do I want to add there? I want to add an image button. So I'm going to make this up here. So I'll just call it IMG. Okay. Image button. Um, let's see. Image button source will be icons slash uh, avatars slash then the add F because F is this the name of the file. Okay, so that's my source. And then when I click the button on release, I'll have to create this new function. I'll call it self dot uh, change avatar. Okay, so now I'll add this image there. Uh, okay, so I've got my avatar grid. I'm walking through each one of the image files in here. And then I'm making an image button and I'm adding my image to the grid and the grid is inside of a scroll view. So I think that's looking pretty good. We'll get an error if we try to run it right now because this isn't defined yet, this function. So I'll go define this change avatar function real quick. Def change avatar. I'll just pass for now. Okay, let's run things and see what happens. Oh, I got an error. Of course, I was writing too much code without without testing things first. Okay, it doesn't like change avatars screen. Oh, it's because it's change avatar screen. So over here, I need to change avatar screen, and I tried to call it change avatars. So that was the issue. Okay, here we go. Let's go to settings. Oh, I don't think I have a button to take me to my avatar screen yet. So I wanna make this image and this uh, label both take me there. So let's go back to, that's in the settings screen. On release, instead of printing change avatar, now I can actually do it. So app dot change screen. Remember I've got that function defined right here. So I just have to pass it the name of the screen. So app.change screen and then I'll give it oops change avatar screen. Okay. And I'll do the same thing for the label. So I can click either one. Alright, let's run it. Settings, change avatar. Here I am. Okay, so I've that walk function, like I said, walks through all of the images in that icon slash avatars folder and puts them here. And can I scroll? I can scroll, okay? Perfect. Now if I click one, it shouldn't do anything yet, but I've got I've got a that function ready to write. So when I click it, it calls this function. And really quickly, I'm going to add some, some spacing and some padding in here so that the images are a bit separated. And that's simple enough to do. I'm going to go to my change avatar screen. And spacing, I'll just say 2020. And padding, 2020. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. And then after these adjustments, let's take a look. Nice, we've got some blue space here between the widgets and between the top and the bottom. Beautiful, I love it. Okay, we'll close that. So now we need to work with this change avatar function. So this is gonna to need to do two things. Change avatar in the app, and then it needs to change the avatar in uh, the database, in Firebase, okay? Uh, to do it in the app, we're gonna to need to first pass the image that was pressed, right? So here's my return function, or my release function. So I need to pass it some variables, but I can't call something like this. I can't pass it the name of the image because trying to trying to call the function uh, as part of uh, the return from this function does not work. So to pass a variable, I need to use something called uh, partial. So I'll import it from func tools, import partial. Partial will let me both tell it, tell this release function that I want to call this function, and I can tell it that I want to uh, give it a parameter too. So I can say partial, and then I'll open brackets or open parentheses, and then I'll do comma, and I'll give it what I want to send it, which uh, will be the file name. So F, I suppose, right? That's good. Okay, so now I'm using partial to call the function and return uh, the name of the file. So let's go down here and see how that works. I'll print args. Okay, so I'll run it, and then I'll click a button a couple times, and we'll see what it sends. Okay, I'll click some. So args is this tuple. So first is the file name, and then it's the, the ID of the widget that was pressed. So that's handy at some times, but I don't need it now. So really, I could just call this more uh, image and then widget ID, okay? Now image is the one that I wanna be using. So to change the image in my app, I'll do it just like I do at the start here. So these two lines, the get and update avatar image, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, oops. There we go, avatar image. This gets me the widget, right? And then I'll change the source to be icon slash avatars plus, and no longer that, it's just gonna be plus F, or sorry, plus image, because that's what we've passed. Okay, so let's try that. See if it works. Here we are, if I click one, boom. Look at that. Okay, perfect, that's what I want. Um, now we need to change the avatar in Firebase. So to do this, I'm gonna have to do another requests uh, call. So when I, was, when I was trying to get the data from the database, I had to do request.get, and now I need to send some data. So I can either use uh, request.post or I can use request.patch. In this case, I'm gonna be using patch um, because post is more for writing new data in this case and patch will be to update a field. And what I really wanna do is update this avatar field. So I'm gonna do a patch request uh, to this, this friend ID, so I'll patch to one and I'll send it some data, and the data will say avatar should be then the new file name. Okay, so let's get the data going. It needs to be a uh, string, stringified, string, whatever, dictionary. So to do that, I will get this going. Avatar needs to be, and then I'll do a percent s get my quotes in there, and then percent image, okay? So it's important when you're, when you're posting data, you need to have single quotes on the outside 
and then inside is your dictionary and you need to make sure you're using double quotes on the inside. So let's just print what my data looks like. So you can see that. Okay, click the button a couple times. There we have avatar is and then the name of the file. Perfect. Um, okay, so now let's do the, the call with requests. So request.patch and then I need to say the URL that I'm sending my data to. So it'll be the same one as up here when I got the data. So firebaseio.com. Okay. Oops. There we go. And now I also need to add, just like I've done up here, I'll get the string ID. Okay. So basically, if I were to, to send some data to just here, it would take me all the way up to my very top sort of key up here. And if I sent this avatar is 043sporty.png, it would create a new field alongside this one and the two. But I want to send it inside this one uh, key. I want to send it to this spot. So I need to post to the friendlyfitness.firebaseio.com slash one will get me in here. And then I can send my avatar data and it'll update this field. So I've got firebaseio.com slash my friend ID. And then I need to add a .json. Um, and then the data that I'll be sending is data. I call it my data. So it's a little bit less confusing. Okay. So I'm going to update this avatar field and this avatar field re uh, resides inside firebase.io.com slash one. So it's residing here and I'm going to update it. Let's see if that works. I'll move this to the side so we can watch. Okay. Change avatar. If I click something. Boom. It has updated. Beautiful. So now when I close this, notice this image here now. If I close it, okay, that stays. And when I rerun my app, my avatar has stayed because it's pulling from the database and I've changed the database. So I think the only thing left to do is make it so when I click one of these, it takes me back to the settings screen so that I don't need to have like a back button or something. It just will do it automatically for me after I select a new avatar. Okay, so we will call self.change screen. Uh, and we'll just go back to the setting screen. All right. So settings, change avatar. We hit that guy and we go back. Perfect. We've updated our avatar to the golfer image and everything is working as expected, except this back button. It's like I forgot that. All right, for another video. Thanks for watching, guys.